Now, if you're a Muslim or if you're a different religion, I want to talk to you right now. Do you agree with this? God says no unclean thing can enter into heaven. Do you agree with that? I'm sure you do. Nothing unclean can enter into heaven. I'm unclean. I've looked at things I shouldn't have. I've lusted after women. I've told lies. I'm unclean. How do I get to heaven? How do I get to heaven? The only way is if someone dies in my place and washes away my sins. And that person is Jesus Christ. If you've got even one speck of sin on your account, you will not make it to heaven. You deserve to go to hell, the Bible says. But if you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, he'll not only wipe away the specks of sin, but every single part of us will be clean. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Good friend. Yeah, you made me jump then, flipping it. I just lost the, the last three hairs on my head then after that. Thank you, sir. But friends, what am I trying to say? God loves you and he wants a relationship with you. Will you come to the cross today and find your sins are forgiven? It's lovely to see people listening today in Blackburn. It's lovely to see people caring about God today. You know that you're more than just an accident. You know that you didn't just come from some explosion like the scientists will tell you. You know that you didn't just come from a big bang. You know that God made you. He wired you up. You've got DNA, you've got purpose, you've got meaning. And this God wants a relationship with you. So whoever you are, wherever you're listening right now, now, whether your life is at rock bottom or whether you're on a high right now, call out to God. He hears you, he loves you, and he cares for you. Call out to him. Whatever it is that's going through your mind, ask him to save you and to give you a real relationship with him. I'm not buying it. I don't believe I came from an ape or a monkey. Maybe you believe that, but I don't believe that. I believe that God created me in the image of God. Do you believe that today, friends? Do you believe there's a creator God who loves you very, very much? Do you believe it? Do you believe that God loves you to pieces? Do you believe that God is real? Do you believe that God cares about you? The Bible says that he knows the very number of hairs on your head. Now, for some of us, it wouldn't take very long to count the number of hairs we've got on our heads. But the point is this, he knows everything about you. He knows your anxieties, he knows your fears, he knows what makes you happy, what makes you sad. And this God, do you know what he did? He sent his son to die on a cross for your sins. Jesus isn't just a prophet, you know. Jesus is God in a skin and he came into this world and he was pinned to a cross for your sin. Do you know that there's people going by today that are liars? Have you ever told a lie? Anyone going by in Blackburn today, have you ever told a lie? Yes. I have and I've told many lies. Do you know the Bible, on the last page of the Bible it says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. So in other words, all liars are going to hell. That's not good news for me, it's not good news for you, because we've told lies, haven't we? But the good news is that on the cross, Jesus Christ died for liars. On the cross, Jesus Christ died for blasphemers. All those who say, OMG, you know when something bad goes wrong, do you ever say, OMG, do you ever use God's name as a swear word? Jesus died for you. Do you ever get angry? Do you ever lose your temper? Do you, do you get drunk? Do you do all of these things? And yet Jesus Christ on the cross died for you. And it's all you have to do is come to the cross and receive that forgiveness. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sins. So someone had to shed their blood, but not anyone. It had to be the righteous son of God. And on the cross, Jesus Christ shed his blood so that you can be washed white than snow. All of your sins, past, present and future can be gone, can be scrubbed away if you'll come to the cross. If you'll turn to him, and live. Jesus Christ wants you to turn and live. Today you might say, I can be a good person and I'll get to heaven. Today you might say, I can do religious works. I can go to my religious building and I'll get saved. But the Bible says the only way to heaven is through the Son of God. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man, no woman can come to the Father except through me. There's only one way, my friends, and the entrance is through to the cross. There's only one way to heaven, and it's through the Lord Jesus Christ. 